In this demonstration, we will show how to diagram a freefall experiment. We begin by creating a new file. Place a ball on the scene from the object bar. You can move this ball in the XY plane. To move the ball in the Z direction, press the Move Up Down icon. Click and hold the right mouse button and move the cursor down to see a distant view. Open the Object Properties dialog by double-clicking on the ball. Click the location icon. We set the position of the ball to x equals 0, y equals 0, z equals 2. In addition to location, you may also set the velocity, size, inertia, appearance, and material of the ball. Change the material type to rubber and click OK. We click on the Run button to watch the simulation. Now let's create a diagram. Click the Edit chalk box and the Diagram on. Select Ball, Position, Z. Drag the diagram onto the description window and by its size. We next add titles to the horizontal and vertical axes. Click on the axis to open the axis dialog. Then set the name for the axis and click OK. Click Run to view the simulation. To add text, click the New Text icon. First, we label the diagram Free Fall. We use the equation icons in the New Text window to write the formula for the free fall. Then we drag the equation into the description window. Next, we create a theoretical curve in the diagram. Click twice on the diagram. Click on the Edit button. And click on the New button. Select Curve 1 and set the horizontal axis label to Time. We assign the expression to the vertical axis. You can change the curve name by clicking the Rename button. We change the name to Theoretical Curve and click OK. The color of the curves can be changed by clicking the Properties button. We also modify the curve's width and uncheck Attach Points with Lines to produce a dotted line.
Finally, we run the simulation. This concludes our demonstration of modeling free fall in Newton.